Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, Siwariso. At the end of the last video we was doing some um, fertilising contracts on the final day of spring. Um, which is going to make us about 90 grand in total once we finished all the contracts. And this is the last contract, this is the last field. You may remember this one from the sewing contract I did the other day. Well, we now have to fertilize it, and this is the final one. And if you watched the last video, you will know that I leased this machine through one of the contracts. One of the contracts offered me this, it might have been this field actually, offered me this machine. And then I've proceeded to use this machine to do all the other contracts of the fertilizing um, variety using this one leased machine. And then what I plan to do, once we've finished this contract, is quickly nip, nip this back to the farm over there and unload it of any liquid fertilizer that may remain. Looking at this field though, I don't think there's going to be a lot of liquid fertilizer left in this machine when I'm finished. In actual fact, between the last episode and this one, I've actually done a quick U-turn <laughs> and driven back to the shop and made sure this thing <clears throat> was 100% full of fertilizer before before starting the um, contract because I just didn't think 40% or whatever I had left was going to be enough so I've bought another couple of pallets of fertilizer made sure this machine was at 100% prior to starting I'm going to go get this field Get this field sprayed now this is a huge field no doubt about it this is a huge field um so much so <laughs> um i'm thinking in the future if i was to own this field and i had this field as part of you know dolores's estate um this field would probably be the candidate for cotton planting because <laughs> it's big which means you'll be actually able to get some bales off of it There's nothing more frustrating than planting cotton on a small field, leasing a cotton harvester to try and save you a few bob when it comes to harvest time, harvesting the field but not harvesting enough cotton that you're actually able to empty the cotton harvester and get a bale out of it. So you're stuck with a machine that you're paying leasing fees for that you can't get the cotton out of to sell. And if you return the machine, you're going to lose your harvest. So, yeah. Definitely something to think about in this game. <laughs> you know, take for granted a combine harvester. Yeah, you can lease a combine harvester. You can empty that perfectly every time. Not so easy with a cotton harvester. It's the same with a baler, actually, in, in that regard. You know, if you don't quite fill a bale, um, they, you're leaving quite a lot of product in the machine. Like, for example, the baler we've got on the farm, the case one, that makes 8,000 litre bales. But if I can't get that bale out of the machine, if I can't unload that partial bale, you know, you're potentially sending a machine back to the shop with, you know, 6,000 litres of product in it or something. <laughs> Because I think it's going to be over 75%, hasn't it, in the default, in the vanilla game, to be able to unload a partial, partially filled bale. It's got to be over 75% capacity. I know you can get mods that allow you to unload bales of lesser capacity, but I've had hit and miss results with those. May have been because I was using those in the past alongside mods like the um, variable bale capacity mod. So that may have been screwing up the bales because then the bales don't actually know uh, the the capacity uh, the the unloading mod might not necessarily know what capacity to base its uh, uh, 
fill percentage off. <clears throat> right, so this is another good example of a field that if I was to buy later on in the series down the road, um, some of the field edges might need to be brought in a bit. They're a little bit too close to the trees and the roads. So the field would have to shrink a little bit, I'm afraid. You know what? We seem to be rocking, rocketing along this field quite nicely. This Rubicon makes life so much easier. Tell you what, if I'd had a cedar as big as this <clears throat> the other day doing that contract, <clears throat> but that sewing contract probably wouldn't have been quite so bad. I keep missing little bits, look, of the field, but you know what? We will um, ignore that. We'll hope the farmer doesn't notice I've missed some little bits. And he doesn't ask me to go back and fill them in later. I must admit, doing a fer fertilizer spraying or fertilizer spreading, that is one job where I definitely, definitely strongly advise people use GPS. So you don't miss bits and you don't wait, spend too much time overlapping and wasting product by overlapping. And so you don't, you know, miss bits of your field. I don't think there's any farmers in real life today on their real farms that would fertilize or whatever without using GPS <coughs> or auto steering of some description. Because <coughs> they definitely don't want to apply too much fertilizer to areas that they've already fertilized by overlapping far too much. And at the same time, they really don't want to miss sections of their fields Still not halfway yet, <laughs> even with this big 50 meter sprayer. Crazy. Excuse me for coughing today. I don't know why I keep coughing. I hope I ain't got corona. No, I think it's too warm in, in my little office. It's, it's this Easter weekend. It's got really, really balmy hot in the UK. And right now, as I record this, it is 20 past 12 on Sunday, Easter Sunday. And it is 30 degrees in my little office where I'm recording and playing this let's play series I've had I have been using my aircon this weekend my little mode portable aircon unit but I can't use it while I'm recording because I think it makes too much noise on the videos and this is an issue I keep having in game I, I don't know if you've anyone else is having this problem I was talking about it on the multiplayer server the other evening with Mr. Helgi along with some of the other issues I've been noticing like vehicles and equipment sliding around 
Another thing I've been noticing in this game just recently, for me, um, is that whenever I'm, I'm using cruise control on a field and I'm driving down the field, or up a field or across a field or however, um, it just randomly stops at times for no reason. You know? I'll see if it happens again as we go down the field. But yeah, my cruise control keeps like just... There, it's done it there. And I've not touched the controller. Not touched the brake at all. Don't know why it keeps doing that. But it's something that's very bad when you're doing any kind of fertilizer application, whether it's spraying, spreading, uh, manure spreading, compost spreading, slurry spreading, digestate spreading, because you, your machine stops, the stuff keeps pouring out of it and you keep wasting um, product. I honestly don't know why. I've got to literally keep my finger on the accelerator. I've got to, I can't use cru rely on cruise control. Just sit back, kick back, and, uh, you know, watch the world get bushwhacked. Sorry, that's a Smash, that's a smash Mouth song, that, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I've been using the aircon this weekend. For the first time in 2020, the aircon has been in use. Very nice. It's very effective at cooling the room down very effective and making it very nice and pleasant in here i can drop the temperature in this room to 16 degrees using it which is very nice and chilly um, it's just a shame it makes noise i just can't use it whilst i'm recording i don't mind necessarily using it whilst i'm streaming because obviously i can explain to everybody in the stream that hey you know it's hot roasting i need to stay cool just bear with it <laughs> just bear with a little bit of a fan noise in the background as the aircon works its magic you know if it really bothers people in the live streams that badly they are welcome to donate money to me or subscribe to me so that I could afford um, one day to hopefully have a bigger um, property to live in and work in <laughs> where I could have a much bigger recording office that doesn't get quite so hot <laughs> that isn't on the side of the house where the sun be beats and beams directly on it for the most of the hours of the day literally cooking the room see my i think my my room sort of faces southeast I think it's southeast, or is it northwest? I can't try to remember now which way my room faces, but it faces the way in which, from about you know t ten o'clock in the morning till about two, three o'clock in the afternoon, it has the sun beating on it. <laughs> Which is not necessarily bad for me as a, a streamer especially if i stream during the day because it means i get lots of natural light coming through the window which means i don't have to have all these artificial lights set up to keep you know the webcam looking nice and lit and bright but it does mean that the room just gets cooked the temperature in here goes up ridiculously especially as i'm playing if i start rendering doing any rendering during the day wowzers does that then get hot because obviously when you're rendering uh, on your pc if you've ever done video editing rendering takes quite a lot of cpu to do in whether you're using adobe whether you're using vegas like i do that is a very process of intensive your u processor utilization will go up ridiculously you know to, you know depending on your system you may be using 100% CPU whilst you're rendering I use with my processor 
I'm use and vague and Sony Vegas. I use about when I start rendering a video, my U, CPU utilization goes to about 76 percent. It's about three quarters. Um, but that does mean that the CPU temperature starts to go up quite a lot. And depending how you are cooling your computer, that's a lot of hot air that's getting expelled into the room around the computer. <laughs> from the box the tower the case and as i say my, my office here is very small so it doesn't take me doing a lot on my pc if i start cranking up the uh, cpu temperature to then crank up the temperature in this room but hey we're on the texas map it might as well i might as well be sat here playing in texas conditions and dealing with texas heat <laughs> You know, let's really immerse myself in the simulation. Not been doing bad. We've not been doing a bad job. I forgot to turn off the blurry mountains before I started, though, recording. I probably didn't do it for the last video either. Sorry about that, people. I must remember to do that. Add it to the list of things I must remember to do before I start recording this um, live series <laughs> the one I often forget to do now is start the global company market application thing I forget to start that up before I start the game and then you can't buy and sell stuff and also you run the risk of losing anything that you have already previously bought from your from the little building at the top of the map One, one thing I won't be able to do though with this machine um, I'm not going to be able to use I was thinking that when I took it back to the farm to empty it of any remaining liquid fertiliser I was thinking oh you know what I ought to just nip over to that grass field field 5 and just see if I can fertilise that field yet see whether the game will let me now that we've passed a couple of days in game and um, um, it won't let me, will it? Because this machine is reserved for contract use only, so I wouldn't be able to try and attempt to spray my own field before returning it, which means I'd have to use my own sprayer or spreader. Hey, we've nearly done the contracts that will be 90 grand that Dolores has made from today the final day of spring okay two videos average that out 45 grand a video still not bad going I'm sure there's a lot of people here that would like to earn 45 grand a day <laughs> or 90 grand a day if there's anybody watching the video who is already making that kind of money why haven't you donated <laughs> to me before now you know oh, I've run out of fertilizer you troll game really you've let me do all that field up to that point and then you've gone nah that's a troll <laughs> oh so I've got to go and refill because I do want to finish the field properly. Because uh, I could, if I if I click com job complete, people are just gonna get rage rage at me for not doing the job properly. You know, especially after I've raged in multiplayer on the server at players not doing jobs properly. It would be a bit hypocritical of me to say, yeah, you know what, screw this field. We've done enough. <laughs> 
No, that would be bad. That would be there bad. So let's go get some more liquid fertilizer. Like I say, the plan was originally anyway to go back to the farm and empty whatever we've still got left. Which is still on the cards. Still feasible. But man, this fertilizer is not cheap because it's like 3,200 a pallet. It's more expensive than the um herbicide. Tell you what, if we could find a way to get into some fertilizer production, if we could get a machine. I should have checked global company, shouldn't I? I should have checked the global market, see what price they were selling liquid fertilizer at, see if they were a little bit cheaper than the um than the store than Stevie's store. Fully filled up again. Fully fueled. Back to that last little corner of the field. That last little corner. quickly just spray a couple of these little bits where I missed just fill in some of the little lines can for any more Away a lot. There we go. There we go. Filled in some of the bits I'd missed as well, so nobody can get angry at me in the comment section. Or well, I hope people won't get angry at me in the comment section. He says as he goes and misses another great chunk of the field straight away. This this strip is just a little bit too wide, I think. I think this strip is a little bit wider than the sprayer. Not great. Unfortunately for me, as well, when I come to unload this in a few minutes time, it's going to unload it into pallets because it's a vanilla sprayer. It's not been modified to allow me just to pull the plug out the tank and let all the fertilizer drain out. So, 
we're going to end up with pallets of liquid fertilizer that we're going to have to find somewhere to store at the farm. Adjustable wheels. This way. No pallets unloaded at the farm. Sprayer back to the shop. Contracts cashed in. Pick up the pickup truck. Back to the farm. Job done. For the day, pretty much. quick look if I just quickly nurse this back here four pallets isn't terrible I'm sure I can find some way of storing those Take Mr. Rubicon back to the shop. Grab my uh, pickup truck. And head back to the farm. Raz off, off of waffles. Wait, look, see what we've got. Fertilizer and liquid fertilizer production used from diesel and digestate fertilizer, from diesel manure and slurry fertilizer, and from diesel fertilizer and water liquid fertilizer. Ah, okay. Is that a fairly big building? Probably is. Can't have a look at it because I don't have the money. Oh, we don't have any um, pallet storage in there. Means we may end up at the farm uh, having to get um. There we go, one of them liquid storage tanks, shelves for use in storing our farm products. We can do that. Right, complete. Collect, collect, collect. Ninety-five grand though to do that job. There was another thirty-one grand job there for um spraying. Would have been nice maybe to have grabbed that whilst i had the sprayer that one's the one offering the star up by the way to do field 23 but we've done enough fertilizing contracts for now so let's head back to the farm Also got a little mod installed today, which turns off the um, the turning signals, your indicators automatically. Just makes life a little bit easier. 
put your indicators on indicate you are turning and then you go and turn you don't have to manually turn them off Looks a bit like Welker Farms here. Looks like we've got a bowling ball cannon. <laughs> I know that's not a bowling ball cannon, but wouldn't it be cool to get a bowling ball cannon mod in the game? Just like the Welker boys. Right, so we've got some eggs. And a quick check on things while we're here. <clears throat> we've got 133 grand in the bank, which is nice. Obviously, we've got our... Our hay dryer over there. Hopefully it's been making hay. Check on the sheep. But oh, they need a little bit of water, look. They need a little bit of water. Bless them. Could do with some cleaning up. Sheep are white, all my sheep are white. We've got really do need to get this field fertilized. I do, I do need to get it fertilized. Wondering though whether it's actually going to let us. I need to do it before we hit heart, uh, mowing stage again the next mowing phase surely I can fertilise now because it's been a couple of days since I sprayed also like I say we need to do we do need to sort out something with the um liquid storage pallet things so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab one of those liquid storage shell racking things for 6,000 whilst we're here and then um, I can get that loaded up before the next episode I need the forks aren't I um, We put it the right way around. I have to pull it away from the roof. I think. So it doesn't collide. It has changed the floor, unfortunately. Um, can't really do much about that. But hey, we've got a rack for putting our liquid fertilizer on. And also herbicide in the future. So that is not a bad thing. Typically speaking, that is not a bad thing. Anyway, we've reached the end of another episode, folks. Here on the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series. I hope you've enjoyed the video hope you're enjoying the series thus far if you are like i say most important things you can do are click the like button on each video leave me a comment on every video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share the video with whomever you see fit and wherever you see fit this has been dolores flufflebotham and i've been see what he's saying goodbye for now folks <laughs>